closer to creating the first highway that would power heavy-duty vehicles while driving a stretch of US 231 in West Lafayette, which is becoming an electrified roadway. The idea is that EV semi-trucks will drive over these coils and then pull energy from them charging the trucks as they go along the highway. The technology will solve two major hurdles for electric heavy-duty trucks. Eric Graves has details. Think of this like setting your phone down on a wireless charger. The charger is these coils set in two inches of concrete, and your phone is a semi going 65 miles an hour down the road. What was science fiction 20 years ago is present now. Steve Pekarik and a team of Purdue engineers are working to develop a first-of-its-kind technology to power electric semi-trucks as they drive on the road. The road provides that power instead of having, for example, the battery provide that power. The power comes from these coils in the road. We watched Wednesday's NDOT crews install them into the quarter-mile test site on US 231 in West Lafayette. Soon, they'll be covered by two inches of concrete. Now we're just going through and we're covering each coil up with the pavement, leveling that out, and having it almost ready to where it could be drivable here in the very near future. Pekarik and his team tested the newest of the installed coils Wednesday. The idea is electric semis will be able to drive at 65 miles an hour, and a magnetic field will transfer energy from the coils to receiver on the truck. You're talking about 200 kilowatts you have to deliver and uh, that's a lot of power, like on the order of 100 homes worth of power. The goal is for the technology to be installed along truck routes and reduce two major hurdles to making EV trucks more practical. You would place these coils within the roadway and then all the EVs can reduce their battery size and reduce the range anxiety. Right now, batteries for EV semis cost around $250,000. Carrick estimates this technology will reduce that by a factor of 10. You'll need a battery to get onto the roadway. You need to get it off the roadway. But while it's on the roadway, the battery isn't needed. Soon concrete will cover the coil on US 231. The road will be reopened for the winter. In the spring, the Purdue team will test the technology with an EV semi-truck. The hope is to charge up an even larger section of Indiana Highway here in the next 10 to 15 years.